What's up guys, Dylan BreakinBolts.com here with update number two for Jeep YJ Rock Crawler one ton LS swap build. Um, got a lot of things done this weekend, so I'm gonna go over them. All right, first thing we should go over is the front axle for the build has been confirmed. The AAM 9.25 is not a C-clip axle. We can check that here. I finally got the diff cover pulled off of it. What we did learn was lots of rust on the ring gear. Spider gears look okay. It's got a lot of surface rust and then you got pinning on the ring gear. So what we'll probably do is clean it all up and leave her alone because we're gonna be three linking this run axle. We cannot be, we cannot do uh, leaf springs anymore. The minimum spring purchase distance for this axle to get it centered unto, under a YJ would be about 38 and a half, 37 and a half maybe. But I know one thing is for sure, it will not fit a 36 and a half inch perch distance, which would be the kit Dave Custom Unlimited sells um, for a full size axle swap of this caliber. So the Barnes three link kit, it is. Barnes three link kit, you'll have lower control arm mount here, upper control arm mount and track bar mount here, across to the frame and then lower control arm mount here. And I'm trying to keep it super simple. Three link is a bit easier to do than four link for the simple fact of packaging is a lot easier for a three link kit. If for a four link kit, if everything's not correct and you're not centered, it's a bad day. With a track bar, you can kind of pull it over where you need it. All right, pulled the cover off the 11 and a half and it looked perfect. Nothing needs to change on the 11 and a half. In fact, we're still gonna be doing leaf spring on the rear. So we'll get the Moto Built six inch stretch for a Jeep YJ and a barn spring under axle kit for this axle here. The spring under axle kit that barn sells only accepts a 3.25 inch axle tube diameter and our 11 and a half has a four inch axle tube diameter. Nothing a angle grinder cannot fix. So we got our two axles. Let's go take a look at the Jeep. All right, here we are at the Jeep and a lot has changed already. It's about six hours of work here. Got the dash pulled out, got the steering column pulled out, interiors pulled out. Uh, cage was, uh, we began to pull it out, but Jeep likes to use Torx bits and we broke three already. And I'm out of shielding gas. So once I get shielding gas, nuts will be welded and the cage will be removed. Bumper's getting removed, but super rusty, even for Texas. And I stripped some out. So those are getting welded as well. Uh, fender flare is already gone. Steps already gone. Um, windshield is already gone. Lots of things have been sold. Seats have been sold. Gas tank. The whole dash assembly. So right now we just have a windshield to sell. Front fenders to sell. Dana 30, Dana 35, and wheels and tires here. But we've recouped about 600 bucks so far which is a little bit ridiculous. I may just go into the Jeep parts business because this stuff is in high demand. So the guy who just picked up the seats, front seat and the rear seat, I gave him a great deal because I didn't know it was gonna rain. It's currently raining now and they all got rained on. So instead of a hundred bucks, I said, hey man, just take them for 20. Uh, but we made a deal for the axles, front and rear and the fenders on this baby. So he's gonna give me $450 this weekend and we're gonna get the front chopped off. We're, we're gonna chop them off right at the leaf hanger on the front. I'm gonna steal the, uh, I'm gonna steal the tie rod, the sway bar connection and the mount and the track bar from this YJ to put on the white YJ because I think it'll be nice to install that stuff on the YJ for street driving. Let the wife drive it, she'll be a little bit more comfortable. And then get this cage sold. It's posted for 250 with pretty good, um, pretty good impressions. A lot of messages on it for 250. So we'll get that sold. 
and uh, we'll get we'll continue to get it cleaned up. So the very next step for this build will be getting that front axle removed. We're about to find a way to put a wheel here, uh, like a ratchet strap, a, a tire to it or something, just so I can move move the chassis in and out. Um, but the very first step we are doing is once this Dana 35 is out, we'll purchase the uh, Moto built six inch rear stretch for a Jeep YJ. That kit will move a perch here six inches backwards. We'll get that slapped up in there and welded on. And then a rear bumper comes with this kit. Weld the re rear bumper on and it comes with hangers that sit outside the bumper here. And uh, that way we can connect our leaf spring from the rear bumper to our relocated hanger here. Once that is all welded up and stuck together, we'll drop this leaf spring here. Since uh, the spring under kit we're purchasing from Barnes accepts a two and a half inch spring, that means we can use factory YJ springs for this thing. So we'll drop one off the back and we're going to roll the AAM 11.5 underneath, we'll reconnect our hanger, and then um, use the U-bolt kit to tie it all in. And that way we'll have a one ton Dodge axle underneath the rear and just about seven days of owning a project, which is great results. And then we'll keep the 37 inch military tires on it for the ability to move it in the garage once I get done with the axle builds. If we get super motivated, then we may be able to get the three link complete on the front. Wouldn't that be awesome? And that's update number two for the YJ rock crawler build. Um, I'm sure you're building your Jeep right now and you're looking for you know, ways to get this done. Maybe you just don't know how to get the suspension done on the YJ or how the fuel works or how dropping an engine in. But remember the forms Pirate 4x4 and Facebook groups make all of this super complicated when it doesn't need to be. This is all super easy. You can do it in your two car garage at home. Like, get the project started. Uh, check out the website, the content on breakingbolts.com. It is much better than this YouTube channel. Um, but regardless, here we are. Peace out.